The next thing with lighting I want to talk about are lighting instruments. These are the devices which actually produce light. We put bulbs in them, we put light bulbs in them of one type or another, and then we power them and they create light. You can roughly divide lighting instruments into two types. Spotlights, a spotlight puts out a very strong direct light, and floodlights, which tend to spread the light out more and it's more diffused, softer. So you can already see that spotlight or a floodlight might be better or worse for particular jobs that we talked about with, with our lighting methods. So I'm going to talk about the three instruments that we have in our studio primarily, and I'd like you to remember these. Um, lighting instruments are in a lot of flux right now with the advent of LED lights. We don't have any LED lights in our studio yet, uh, but all of these things could be done using LED lights. Um, so let's take a look at the three instruments that we currently do have and just understand that each of these could be replaced uh, with an LED light at some point, but right now they are using uh, incandescent quartz bulbs, which burn really, really hot. Uh, the first is the Fresnel Spotlight. Uh, the Fresnel Spotlight is a real workhorse of a light. Uh, it's, it's a spotlight, but it actually has a little bit of an ability to flood if you are really needing to f a floodlight and you just don't have one for some reason. Uh, it's got a slider on the side or the bottom or sometimes has a crank on the back which allows you to adjust the position of the light bulb inside of the spotlight and depending on where you put the light bulb it either floods out or it is more of a spotlight uh, so it can adjust so it's not a perfect spotlight and it's not a perfect floodlight but it can sort of do both which is you know, makes it kind of flexible. And one of the reasons why it has been for so many years a, a very common light to find in a studio. Uh, it can accept accessories on the front. If you look at the picture here, on the front you can see there are three clips uh, on the, s the sides of and the bottom of the spotlight. You can slide something into there uh, to add on to the front of the light. We'll talk about accessories later, but just know that this can have accessories added on to it. Uh, so, yeah. The next light that we want to look at here is what's called a scoop. Now, a scoop is a floodlight. It doesn't even have a lens. It's You can actually see the bulb inside of it. It does have the clips on the sides and on the bottom, which allow it to accept accessories. So you can add accessories on the front. But this is a floodlight, and, and so it will only fulfill the jobs uh, that, that a floodlight is needed for. But it's a pretty common light. And last, we have these color balanced fluorescents. Now, fluorescent light uses less power than the quartz bulbs, uh, so that's an advantage. So it doesn't burn as hot. And they've been color balanced because remember when we talked about color temperature, I mentioned that fluorescent lights tended to be green. These are specially designed fluorescent lights so that they are balanced to match with other incandescent lights that you might find in a studio. Uh, and so you get the right color. You don't have like a contradictory color. So uh, they tend to last quite a while, the fluorescent lights. We, uh, we don't often, as often have to replace them as the quartz bulbs, which eventually just burn out. Um, and so they, they, they are uh, fairly useful uh, light in terms of finances.